With steeper drops came accelerations that gave designers a new headache, G-forces. An accelerometer is used to measure the G-forces on a roller coaster. Sitting a passenger on one will show exactly how they affect a person's weight. What we've fitted into the ride now is a set of three accelerometers. These are little devices which actually measure the G-force that's happening here. The information goes into a computer, and then we can immediately look at it afterwards and see the acceleration at every spot on the ride all the way around. back at the station, the results provide an amusing insight into the forces at work. What it's actually doing is telling you how much you weighed while you were on the ride. The ride starts over here, and you're weighing normal weight. And as soon as you go around the first drop, your weight doubles at the bottom of the first drop. And then it goes even higher. It's going up to three times your body weight. Nearly 200 kilograms is what you're weighing at that time. Everything below the line of one your weight reduces. So here you're only weighing about 30 kilograms or 20 <laughs> kilograms. It's these fluctuations in weight that help make the roller coaster such a thrilling ride. Too big a G-force, however, and it's a different story. If you go to plus 6, plus 7G, then a number of the passengers will begin to have nosebleeds, their eyes will start bulging out of their sockets, and it really gets quite difficult for a number of the passengers. It soon became apparent that roller coaster tracks had to be designed within the limits of human physiology. So, the search was on for new and exciting ways to thrill.